Hey everyone, Jessica here, and in this tutorial I'm going to really quick um, give you an idea of how to use my new Jungle Love brushes and to make kind of like a ombre background, and you can use this as a background for your card or a digital paper or anything like that. So to begin with, I'm going to go make sure that my pattern stamp tool is selected, impressionist is checked, and I'm going to go to my new brushes and I will pick Jungle Love number 21, which if you um, uh, brush it out, you'll see that it's like got a cool leopard pattern in there. And so to begin with, I'm gonna go to my alternate palette that is included as a bonus with these brushes. And I'm gonna go to the darkest red, and I've just created a new layer, and I've created a background layer with this kind of taupe color. So I'm just gonna go through here and paint like this and as you draw you can see the cool um, leopard pattern that kind of changes as you draw so it's built in there and I think I'm going to use just a little bit like this so that it's got I'm going to go over the top like lightly I'm using a wake, Wacom tablet and not using at full pressure so that you have a little bit of transparency so I've got my bottom layer and now I'm going to make a layer underneath that and I'll create a new layer and then I'm just going to go to my next color of red that is um, just one step lighter and just do the same thing and I might not do it at full full uh, pressure either to give that transparency and then I'll make another layer underneath it and I'll take my lighter red and do the same thing and Again, go and I'm going underneath it because I want the darker to show through on top. So I'm going to make a new layer. And for this one, I think, I don't know if I will, I don't, I think I'll just try this number six here because it's a blend of light and with a couple specks of red in it. But I might have to undo it because there might be some dark. Let's see how this turns out. This is okay, but you know what? I think I'm going to skip this one. So let's just cut that and I will go here to number four let's just go straight into the um, taupe kind of colors so that's cool and then I'm gonna make a new layer below it and then I will go to like number two that looks a lot lighter and paint that on a new layer yeah alright and then make one last layer underneath it and I'll use number one and then I'll just paint across there that's quite nice and I think I might even lighten up my background just a little bit to be honest because there's that white in there I think that looks cool kind of play around with it and there you can make a cool gradated leopard sort of thing and the first time that I did this though I just did it at the bottom so this time I kind of took up the whole page but you know this could be like at the bottom of a card design or something or you can make this you know like to be a digital paper so there's a lot of different things you can do and then use it incorporate it into your design or if you created something like this um, as long as it has more than one brush stroke in it then you know you can sell this uh, or include this as part of like your um, a template or something like that so I'm all about giving you guys the tools that's going to help you in your work and make your work easier and more fun and you see how how fun and easy it is so it's all about letting Photoshop do the heavy lifting and this looks like it took a lot of work but we know it really didn't so I'm all for finding my shortcuts and letting the Photoshop do the heavy lifting so if you have any questions just write them down below in the comments